My brother-in-law is getting into Warhammer, and he chose to play World Eaters, but with a twist. He wants them to be colored purple, or rather to have purple armor, because they are going to be inspired by the Joker, the Batman villain. I got two different ideas on how to paint purple. One model uses the Duncan Rhodes triad. The other uses a Zenithal, a Zenithal method using uh, Hive Dweller purple. I want to make sure that uh, I still get plenty of Liquitex on the skin. Flow improver. Uh, let's do. Bubbles. Wow, that is not as deep as I thought it was going to be. Nice. I'll prep this mixing cup with. 20 drops of airbrush thinner and 3 drops of flow improver, 10 drops of base coat. Ooh, that is not as dark as I thought it was going to be. Now we're going to do the mid-tone of the triad. Got 10 drops of thinner in here, so we'll only do 5 drops here. And since this is a mid-tone, we're just going to go for mid-tone highlights. Not going to cover the whole base, just kind of hit the general layer. Just going to try to hit the general high points of the model. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we got those highlights good. Then we'll do three drops of the highlight of the triad. Runic purple. And we're just going to hit the extremities. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Yep, that's some good light direction. Now that I got the mid-tones and highlights added in via airbrush, I think that Caesar Romero purple is the better looking purple armor in general. We get some nice highlights out of the Zenithal, of course, but we're able to make a smoother transition with the mid-tone and highlight here with the Duncan Rhodes triad. That's my take anyway. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything I ought to do to uh, shape up my purple game or any other ideas that you think would help my brother-in-law as we work on painting these world eaters to look like jokers. Well, hey, thanks, everyone. Bye.